All right, for this activity, we are going to assign the total loads to the plumbing fixtures that we have on this project. And we are simply going to go through and write them down. And then uh, after we have written them all down, we will add them up and we will then assign the total load to the building. This is a nine step process. Uh, that's been simplified basically to assure that we get the proper WSFU's water supply fixture units on all of the piping within the building so that we can size it appropriately. To do this, we'll refer to the table. I'm looking at the table for water supply fixture units for non public use fixtures. And I'm just going to simply go through and locate the fixtures or the groups of fixtures and then collect their total loads. So for this group, we have a lav, we have a water closet, and we have a bathtub shower. The water closets in this project will be considered flush tank water closets. And so I'll move to my table. And as I move to my table, I find out that the load for a flush tank water closet, a lavatory and a bathtub, the total load is four. So I'm going to simply just write that down and then I'm just going to do this and just designate it the total load by simply circling it. I'll then move over to the other group across the drawing and in this group you can see we actually have a shower, a bathtub, a flush tank water closet, and a lab. Again, we have a bathroom group according to our state's definition of bathroom groups, but we also have inside of that bathroom group an extra fixture. A bathroom group consists of just a lav, meaning one, one water closet, and one bathtub or shower. So in this situation, we will grab, or at least I'm going to grab, the bathtub, the water closet, and the lav, and again, create a bathroom group, as we did in the previous group, and assign a total load of four to it. And then I'll circle it. The additional fixture, the shower, the shower will then be assigned a total load of 1.5. And again, I'm just going to circle that. Now I'll move down below. And here I have a dishwasher and a kitchen sink. And the total load for the dishwasher is going to be one. And the total load for the kitchen sink will be 1.5. And then the laundry trace right next to it, that is going to be 1.5. And the automatic clothes washer will be a total load of 1.5. Then over here, we have a half bath with a lav and a flush tank water closet. A lavatory sink has a total load of 1. And the water closet, flush tank water closet, will have a total load of 2. Right below that water closet, we have a hose bib, and we're going to make that a half-inch hose bib. And according to our table, a half-inch hose bib has a total load of three. Now I'll we'll work into the lower level, the basement level. Here we have another laundry tray, and as we said before, that's worth 1.5. And we have another lav. We said that was one and a flush tank water closet for two and over here we have another hose bib and that hose bib will be worth three as well because it's a half inch hose bib now that we have all of the loads total loads assigned to the building we will add those loads up and we will come up with a building load the building load will be 1.5 plus 4 plus 4 plus 3. Over here 
here for the hose bib, plus another 1 for the dishwasher, 1.5, 1.5, 1 1.5, 1 .5, plus another 1, another 2 for the water closet, another 3 for the hose bib, another 1.5 in the basement for the laundry tray, 1 for the lab, and 2 for the water closet. The total for all of these fixtures then will give us a building load of 28.5. We have now completed this step of assigning the total loads to the water distribution system.